Hello. I'm going to cut you to a video shortly that I shot about six years ago. It was a forest bark and wood chip experiment. I tried to grow potatoes in just forest bark and wood chip. No soil. Watch that video. You'll see how the experiment progresses and you'll see the delivery at the end of the experiment. Judge for yourself if it was a success or not and maybe give it a go yourself. So why am I repeating this video? Why am I doing that now? Well, in the six years that have elapsed from me shooting that video, I've literally gained thousands and thousands and thousands of new subscribers. And I know you haven't seen it. You won't have seen it. But you will enjoy watching it. And if you did see it all that time ago, <laughs> you'll enjoy seeing it again. Um, it surprised me when I, uh, when I looked at it again, the result I actually got. Yeah, watch that video. If you want to give it a go, give it a go. Catch it at the end of the video. Right, let's go back to homegrown veg and have a look at this stuff. Let's see what I've got in this bag. Only a couple of weeks ago I started this experiment of um, trying to grow potatoes in just forest bark and wood chip uh, and so I sowed one set in this pot, one set in this pot, this is foremost and this is Sharps Express and we have filled the pot with wood chip and forest bark and nothing else. So there's no fertiliser, no soil and no compost in there, just wood chip and forest bark. Um, but I've been thinking about this experiment and I'm sure it's doomed to failure. And it's doomed to failure because there's probably nothing in there for the potato to actually take in uh, to make it grow. Um, the wood chip and forest bark isn't composted down. Basically all that's doing is supporting the seed potato. But the seed potato is bound to be looking for some, some nutrients, some fertilizer in there, and there isn't any. Uh, so I'm going to go back on, on my word now. I'm going to go back on what I said earlier. Uh, I am going to add some um, fertilizer to these pots. Because I think if I don't, uh, I'm not going to get a, a, a return or a decent return. So 
Let's have a look and see how these guys are doing after two weeks. Okay, I think it's two weeks. What's this one? Foremost. We'll do foremost first. Whoa! What about that? Foremost has made an appearance. This is foremost. After a couple of weeks in Wood Chip and Bar. Okay. We'll just pop that there. And we'll have a look at Sharps Express, see what Sharps Express is doing. Well, I'll tilt these pots forward. I'm not too sure how you're seeing this. Hopefully, you're seeing it quite well. Uh, that's foremost. This is Sharps Express, and Sharps Express is just if I move this wood chip and forest park, I'm sure you'll see it. Yeah, you can, can't you? You can see that, surely. That's the growing tip of Sharps Express. So both potatoes have got away, but I'm going to top this, these two pots off now because I know these potatoes are growing um, with some more wood chip and forest bark. But I've added to this um, some blood fish and bone, and I got some coffee grounds last week, some free coffee grounds. So I've never used that before, so I thought, well, why not? So there's blood fish and bone and coffee grounds in this uh, wood chip and forest bark and that's we're just going to add it basically that's it couldn't be easier and because it's very light um, unlike some compost it's not going to break this top growth off just going to settle in round it very nicely uh, a bit like we're actually mulching it. Um, I suppose we are really, aren't we? So we'll fill this right up at the top. Now the, re the reason I put these guys on uh, at the time, two weeks ago there was a danger of frost. We were being forecast night frosts. They never actually materialised. If they did, they weren't very uh, severe. But I thought, well, if I put this pot on top, um, because the, the seed potato was in the mix, then it didn't need light, all it needed was temperature and uh, dampness. And this was damp, this helped to keep the warmth in and kept keep the cold out. Um, and so that's the reason it was on. But of course now the weather's warmed up, I can take these off and just stand these as they are. this one okay so part two of the experiment um, we'll see how they go this is a first for me my first ever reveal from forest bark and wood chip we're going to do a two pot shootout today this pot there's one seed potato in it and that's foremost and the second pot we'll do is a pot with one seed potato in it and that's Sharps Express. You should be able to tell looking at this uh, that this potato is ready. Starting to yellow up from the bottom so we'll take the tops off uh, and we'll drop foremost. Let's drop the pot let's see what it's got. This is the uh, forest bark and wood chip. As you can see, it's still forest bark and wood chip. Uh, take a while for this stuff to compost down. Um, but anyway. Let's drop this pot. got something like this. We've got something, haven't we? It's 
break this off and see what we've got. Yes. Well, what a spark and wood chip delivers. Oh, oh, what about that? The old seed potato there, we'll get shot at that. Hey, just leave that alone. Molly's decided she'll have a nosy about. No, you don't want that, Molly. That's the seed potato. Just hold on. We'll find one for you. Let's pop them up there. Let's shake this out. And as is traditional, we'll do a weigh in. And also, as is traditional, oh, we'll have a small one for Molly. There we'll look. Okay. Right. So, what we'll do is. These guys like forest, but getting that's a worm mole. These guys like forest bark and wood chip. Okay, we'll leave them, we'll leave him in because, as you know, where there's worms, there's good growing. Right, that's over a pound. I'm guessing that's nearly two pound. But we'll find out and put them on the scales. So we don't get mixed up foremost. Here we go, Sharps Express. Same forest bark and wood chip. Ticket in there and put those potatoes in there, we won't get mixed up. First one, you can see that old seed potato there rotten. I'll just get that out the way. Ugh. Stinky, stinky. Look out, Mom. You'll want one of these as well, dear Molly, a Sharps Express. You'll be able to tell me which you, which you prefer. <laughs> Sharps, Sharps Express or Formos. Whoa! Hey, Sharps Express is delivering, blimey! Just hold on. I'll just sneak this small one off for Molly. Mess it up. Got it. I'll just. Uh, I'll just have a fish through it just to make sure I haven't buried any up. So I might have one. There's another small one. No, that's it. Right, let's have a look at these guys. Come on. Forest bark wood chip. <laughs> what do you think? That's over a pound. I'll bet that's over a pound. That's a meal for two, an accompaniment for a meal for two, easily. Hey, yeah, Amol. You're about one sweet dad. Here, Rich. Good girl. Right. Sharps Express. Pop these in there, yeah? And we'll go and get the scales. Is that a deal? Oh, Sharps Express. And foremost. Can you see them? I don't know whether you can or not. Let's see if we can tilt them your way a bit. Oh, we want that on that side, you crap pot. How's that? That's tilted your way a bit. Right, leave them there, Mole, and we'll go and get the scales. Hold on, you wait there. I've had to move uh, into the shade, we've got a bit of sun today. Um, so I've had to move into the shade basically to try and get a, 
uh, a better shot of these scales as we load them up. Okay, foremost first. And while I'm doing this, there is something else I want to tell you about growing in uh, forest bark and wood chip. What I've found is that the pot, when full, as compared to a pot that is full of compost, isn't half the weight, isn't quarter of the weight, it's probably an eighth of the weight of a pot full of compost. Okay, so if weight were an issue, if you had an issue with, with lifting pots, lifting bags, weight's an issue, then forest bark and wood chip is the lightest material I've ever used to grow anything in. You may want to consider that if you want to have a go at this. Well, there you go. Just over two pound. Yep, just over two pound. One set for a spark and wood chip. And that was foremost. Right, let's do Sharps Express. And the other thing you might like to consider, if you're gardening on a budget, forest bark and wood chip cost nothing. I went out and collected this. You must know somebody that's taking trees down, that's putting them through a, a shredder. They usually have a big pile of the stuff, don't they? I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Just ask them, can I have some of that? I'm a gardener, I want to use it in the garden. There we go. Oh yes! Pound and a half! That's a result. Forest bark and wood chip. I hope you've enjoyed this experiment. Growing potatoes in forest bark and wood chip. Can it be done? Of course it can. There's the proof. You've seen how I've done it. There's no reason why you can't do it. Um, and it costs virtually nothing to do. And if you've seen my experiment growing potatoes in seaweed and leaves, it costs nothing to do. Everything's free. Seaweed and leaves are free. Forest bark and wood chips free. Begs the question, why are, you, why are we buying compost? Forest bark and wood chip, free, it works. Seaweed and leaves, free, it works. Why are we buying compost? This is Homegrown Veg, signing out. Did you enjoy that? I'll tell you what, it surprised me. I didn't expect a, a return like that. And I don't know if you noticed, but those potatoes were as clean as a whistle. I was going to say there's no dirt sticking on them, but there wouldn't be, would there? There was no dirt in the buckets. There was no soil in the buckets to stick onto the potatoes. They were as clean as a whistle. Yeah. Now, if you did like the video and you're going to give me a thumbs up, or at least if you're going to go into the text below and leave a comment, yeah, please do both of those. But while you're there, there is a share icon. It's up near the two thumbs up icons. You want to press that share icon. You may want to actually share this video um, with family and friends via your social media platforms. It's easy enough done. They might want to give it a go. Yep, yeah, and you don't need a big backyard. You don't need an allotment. You don't need a big back garden. You just need a few small buckets, some forest bark and wood chips, a couple of seed potatoes, a couple of potatoes off your veg rack. You're up and running. Yeah, you're up and running. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.